This is the uh, ACS712 Hall Effect based linear current sensor from Allegro Microsystems and uh, in this small outline 8 pin package there are I think three types, this is the 5 amp there's also a 20 amp and a 30 amp type and uh, now if you want to buy this chip on eBay just the chip you're looking at about four or five pounds but uh, due to the wonders of Chinese economics if you want it mounted on this board with all the connectors in place you're looking at about two pound fifty now one gripe I do have with this type of terminal block is that when you try and turn the uh, screws the whole block twists on the board and that's because there are no locating plastic lugs and it just uh, turns on the the uh, metalwork that's underneath but fortunately the supplier of this board has very kindly not soldered the connector in so I think I'm going to use it like this where I'll just put ring terminals directly onto the holes in the circuit board now my plan is to mount the current sensor sort of here on my solar panel voltage and current test rig the voltage uh, sensor is already mounted there the microcontroller is here with the display and uh, I'm going to use it to measure solar panel voltage and current now the conventional way to measure current and it's used in this uh, cheap nasty multimeter on the 10 amp range is to measure the voltage across a low value resistor and the resistors here it's this thick piece of copper wire that spans the common connection and the 10 amp uh, socket and uh, the voltage across a thick piece of wire like that with an extremely low resistance is going to be very low so the chip up here will have uh, an amplifier to um, increase that voltage and make it measurable and the same technique is used with this on this DC power supply you can see there is a low value resistor it's a 0 0.01 ohms and uh, the current will flow through it the voltage across it will be measured but of course that voltage is very small so here down there there's an op amp and that scales the voltage up multiplies it up but of course that's subject to uh, interference by noise, uh, temperature drift and other problems like that. So I now have the Hall Effect current sensor attached to my circuit. Here it is. And this module will have a solar panel on the left hand side and a battery on the right hand side. And the current needs to be measured on the high side of the circuit. So I don't want to be measuring current in the ground line. Now this chip works a little bit like an opto-isolator um, in the sense that uh, the current sense element on the left hand side is electrically isolated completely from the measuring device on this right hand side and you can have something like 1.2 kilovolts uh, between the two sides and the chip will still function completely normally. It isn't opto-isolation in this case, it's magnetic isolation there's a magnetic field surrounding the piece of wire when current flows through here and there's a Hall effect sensor on this side of the chip which detects that current and through a little bit of integral electronics provides a signal on these pins that is between 0 and 5 volts and you can ground or have to ground this ground pin here to system ground and that's perfectly okay it doesn't interfere with the high side measurement of current Right, so I've uh, put 5 volts onto the VCC and ground pins on the module there and I've got the digital voltmeter connected to the centre pin measuring volts coming out of the sensor. Now, the way this works is that it's bidirectional. So currently there's no current flowing through the yellow and red wires. So the voltage coming out sits at the midpoint between VCC at 5 volts and ground at 0 so you can see that it's 2.5 volts now without putting a current through it I'm just going to disturb the magnetic field 
using a magnet attached to a screwdriver. And you can see that if I get the magnet really near the chip, the voltage swings right down almost to zero. If I spin the magnet round and bring it in again, then the voltage shoots up. So you do have to be a little bit careful of magnetic fields because they will disturb the operation of this device. And uh, now I've got some current flowing through the current sensor. It's a bit of a lash up, it's just a 12 volt bulb and I've got 12 volts uh, coming around the circuit and it's reading 2.19 volts. Now that doesn't tell you anything but uh, you have to know that this current sensor has a scale of 185 millivolts per amp. So what we need to do is take the original 2.5 volts, subtract the 2.19 volts that it's reading now, and then divide by 0.185, which will finally give us amps. So there are 1.67 amps flowing through this circuit. Now that might seem an extremely difficult way to read current, and of course it is um, by just putting a DVM on the output of the current sense module but of course this sense module is designed to work with a micro computer microcontroller like the Arduino and so in part two of this video uh, when I get my display, I don't have it at the moment I'll uh, put the Arduino on this and then that will be able to do all the necessary calculations to produce um, a current display in amps on the uh, liquid crystal display